Reflections on Violence is a book written by Georges Sorel in 1908, which explores the concept of violence in society and its role in political and social change. Sorrell argues that violence is an essential aspect of social and political life, and that it should not be viewed as a mere means to an end, but as a positive force in its own right. He contends that violence can be a powerful tool for the oppressed to use in order to effect change and that the threat of violence can often be more effective than its actual use. Sorrell's ideas on violence were deeply influenced by his Marxist worldview, and he believed that the ruling class uses violence to maintain its power and control over the masses. However, he also believed that the working class could use violence as a means of revolutionary struggle to overthrow the ruling class and create a new society based on equality and justice. He argued that violence is a necessary component of social and political change and that without it, the status quo would remain unchanged. One of the central arguments of reflections on violence is that violence is a vital force in creating the myth of revolution. Sorrell believed that the working class needed to have a shared myth that would provide them with the necessary motivation to engage in revolutionary struggle. He argued that the myth of revolution should not be based on the practical considerations of what is possible, but rather on what is desirable. In this sense, the myth of revolution becomes a powerful tool for the working class to use in order to effect change. Sorrell's ideas on violence have been widely criticized for a number of reasons. Firstly, many argue that his view of violence as a positive force in its own right is misguided and dangerous. Critics argue that violence can never be a force for good and that it only serves to perpetuate suffering and oppression. They argue that violence is never the solution to any problem and that it only creates new ones. Additionally, Sorrell's ideas have been criticized for their naivety and oversimplification of the complex reality of political and social change. Many argue that violence is never a straightforward solution to any problem and that it is often unpredictable and chaotic. They argue that the idea of violence as a necessary component of social and political change overlooks the fact that violence often leads to unintended consequences and that it can easily spiral out of control. Finally, Sorrell's ideas have been criticized for their Marxist influences, which many argue are outdated and irrelevant in today's world. Critics argue that Sorrell's ideas are based on a simplistic understanding of class struggle and that they ignore the complexities of modern society. They argue that the working class is no longer the homogeneous group that Sorrell believed it to be and that the realities of modern society are much more complex and multifaceted. In conclusion, Reflections on Violence is a controversial book that raises important questions about the role of violence in society and its relationship to social and political change. While Sorrell's ideas have been widely criticized, they remain relevant today and continue to inspire debate and discussion. Whether or not violence can be a force for good is a question that continues to be relevant, and reflections on violence remains an important work in this ongoing debate.